these need to have, <clears throat> have some food before they are uh, presented for surgery when they're under 12 weeks of age. And we also will lay a towel underneath them just to be able to separate them from a cold table in order to try to conserve their body, body heat. And so we do that with all of them that are real young. The little rascal gets to go home, which will only be in about an hour. She's easily up because of the anesthetic that we use. They'll bounce back because uh, they seem to met metabolize the anesthetics a lot quicker and they'll wake up in half the time than an adult animal will. And in her case, when she gets home, why the client then can feed them right away and they'll be most anxious to eat. Week, nine week old uh, male puppy that he was given telosol just enough to get him relaxed where the technicians could pass the tube and he's put an isofluorine fluorine gas there and we're running him at about one and a half to two to cruise along and we'll be doing an early age or prepubescent surgery on him as uh, Able to drape him up here. They are real tiny, but they are certainly there. I'm going to do a, uh, a scrotal approach and just a little tiny incision that I can force that little testis out. Many will do uh, these like a uh, like a male cat. Um, I've not done that because I can uh, work with my stainless steel and put a ligature around them, and they and not let them get away from me. They slip out of my my fingers. One, maybe two little ligatures right there. And that's that's it. Now we'll get the other side to get it out. Down because sometimes they will go up into the canal just a little bit. The right pressure on the abdomen there that'll force them down into the normal scrotal position. And place the two clamps. The bottom one is just simply to hold it out. Keep it from slipping down and then I can just turn this one over and back and forth and tie between them. Uh, a small steel on this one because it is so tiny and I forgot to put the power on that would be used for a, a large steel which I can't break. And going around again, more for the demonstration, the one is gonna, going to do it. Cinch it down, crimp it over, cut it away, and let it fall back in. And in this case here, we're not going to do anything more than that. It's done. A little bigger than these guys here, you'd put a little drop of surgical adhesive right there. But they'll just collapse and stay.